what's up guys got me some water burger I got a number five a lemon pie some fries and uh, for the fish tank I got all the blues on right now but uh, I probably spent more than what I should have and could have um, picked up some uh, let's see what I got I picked up some new fish. I almost bought a purple tang, uh, but the reason I didn't is because uh, well, this guy right here is in Anthea. Really cool. Hope it does good in my tank. Well, there you go, buddy. Also picked up this cool little fish. I think they said it was a. Uh, Drungeon, something like that. Gobi, it's neon blue. It's really nice. Pretty long. And feel free to correct me if I uh, didn't say it right. Okay, no biggie for me. I don't mind getting corrected at all. And uh, picked up some dinner. Picked up dinner. These are chocolate chip starfish. And uh, my harlequin is going to go to town eat these guys up uh, of course it's gonna be like one but he's gonna go to town and uh, eat them up so I'm gonna get them in the tank when I do this I did not uh, mix my this water up with my tank water and really what you should be doing is quarantine uh, your your corals and your fish but I never do that I did set up my 20 uh, my 20 they could probably be okay but uh, I'm not gonna put them in my 20 I'm going to buy some more of that uh, Matrix by Seachem and uh, then I'll start using it quarantine stuff in my uh, frag tank that I have. It's just a little 20 gallon but it should be better. Alright guys, let me get this thing going and uh, put them into my new tank. Better look, two chocolate chips, I think it's called a light tail uh, Anthea and then that uh, little Gobi, it's pretty cool, really cool. I'm going to start introducing my tank water into this and then go from there so let's go ahead and fast forward to the night the anthe is starting to come out um starting to explore the tank which is pretty cool um i'd like to get more of these uh, the store they had uh two of them but i just wanted to see about one but now that i just got that one i want more than one so i'd like to get like three maybe four antheas uh add a splash of color I love the uh, purple and the eyes, and uh, of course with the red LEDs, this thing is popping orange. Obviously, I don't uh, have a quarantine tank. How many of you guys actually do have a quarantine tank? Um, I do have a 20-gallon that I'm using right now as a frag tank, but I need to buy some more uh, Pond Matrix or Matrix so I can have some uh, beneficial bacteria even more, support some fish. I really don't want a whole bunch of... Uh, fish I would like to add maybe one or two more tanks I almost picked up a purple tank but um, I think the price was a little too high for it um, so I just picked up an anthea and the little blue fish the blue fish I really haven't seen it swimming around um, I'm waiting for it but uh, we'll see and then uh, I still want to get like a powder brown or powder blue and maybe a purple at the end or, or so I have the space for the fish, but um, we'll see. Um, since I did in quarantine, I did start to uh, up the feeding. I fed my fish more, and uh, I'll just keep on doing that. But uh, eventually, I'll set up that 20-gallon. But how many of you guys really have a frag, uh, frag tank slash quarantine tank, guys? Let me know. I do have a little bit of bad news. Here's my uh, blue fish that I just barely picked up. Um... It is my fault. Uh, I don't have a screen yet on my tank. I need to order some. I'm kind of waiting for the bulk resupply to do their reef to reef sale because you get double points and stuff. And then I'll go ahead and take advantage of uh, some supplies that I need to get. But in the background, you can see my Anthea did come out. It is swimming around. And uh, this is also part of my uh, favorite time to look at my tank. 
besides the blues when they kick on, uh, in the morning is the tank is just super clear before the lights are barely turning on. But I am going to go ahead and pick up a, a screen. I'll do a DIY screen top on that. I'm not going to buy the kit, just the screen. And then we'll take care of the tank. And then maybe later on I can add a pair of uh, firefish. Because I know the, for sure the firefish uh, are jumpers. Also on the uh, Anthea, when my kids saw the uh, fish, they asked if I had got a goldfish. And I was like, no, this is an Anthea. But uh, I thought it was pretty funny. Something to share with you guys. And uh, awesome fish. I don't know how many of you guys have Antheas. I know there's different varieties of them. But um, I'm really happy with this purchase. And it looks really good in my tank. Another fish that I'd like to add is a trigger. You know, I know they say that triggers are reef safe. But um, that's why I'm reaching out to you guys. See if they actually are. Uh, I know a lot of people say they don't have any problems to add them with caution. And... Uh, you know, I'm thinking about it. Uh, also want to go ahead and say uh, really enjoying your guys' videos. Hope you guys uh, keep pushing them. I like to watch videos aside from just making them. And uh, one person I want to give a shout out is Reefing Kenny. Uh, he just added T5s and uh, he's doing well with them. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a good one. Let me know what's going on with your tanks and uh, you guys take care. Guys, like and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about a trigger. If that'd be a good addition, if it's uh, if it eats Zoas, and I absolutely will not add it. And, uh, like and subscribe, guys. Take care.